Hello and welcome back. And uh, in this video, we're going to be working on our uh, microphone manager and uh, visualization view. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to create another group here and going to say visualization. So, okay. Speech. visualization okay i'm gonna create a new file here and uh, i'm gonna create swift file i'm gonna name this mic manager for microphone manager all right and uh this microphone manager is going to first of all import ab foundation we're gonna use ab foundation all right and you're gonna create a class mic monitor and this is going to be an observable object okay because it's going to publish uh, a few things um, and we're going to need a few uh, private variables so private variable audio recorder maybe audio recorder private variable timer Current sample and number of samples. Okay, and there's going to be a published property. So, published Gonna be sound sample of float all right okay let's do the initialization so we're gonna create our initializer this initializer is gonna take number of samples so we definitely want to check uh, that this number of samples is more than or greater than zero right it should not be um, anything zero or less than zero so you could actually say if um, it's greater than zero then take number of samples otherwise put a default value maybe 10 something okay and uh, then we're gonna say sound samples is equal to a float and uh, we're gonna create with repeating initializer we're gonna repeat with zero and count is gonna be number of samples then we're gonna use current sample is equal to zero okay uh, here we're also gonna create our audio session so audio session av audio session dot shares instance and we can check if the record permission is there or not so audio session dot record permission it should not if it's not like you know granted so basically if we have not prompted this and user has not granted this we're gonna say audio session dot request record permission and uh, basically this is gonna give us a boolean whether we succeeded or not so if not success right then we're gonna throw a fatal error because we need audio recording or visualization okay all right now um we need basically a place um where 
we're gonna basically create a URL, a recording. Okay, so we're gonna say let URL URL and we're gonna use file with path and this path is going to slash dev slash null. We're gonna say if it's directory, it is true. And then we're gonna say recorder setting. And this is gonna be an array of our dictionary um, of string to any. Basically, just gonna have some key and values. So AV format ID key is going to be a NS number type and the value for this is going to be K audio format Apple lossless. Okay. Next one is AV sample rate key and this is going to be 44100. A B number of channels key one A B encoder encoder audio quality key A B audio quality dot min dot raw value. There we go. Okay. All right. Once we have the URL, we're gonna initialize our audio recorder so that actually throws an exception so we're gonna wrap it inside do try catch so we're gonna say do audio recorder try audio recorder maybe audio recorder and we're gonna have to give the url so we're gonna give url and we chose the wrong overload so we're gonna just type it out settings and this is where we're gonna supply our recorder setting okay now we're gonna say audio session dot set category so we're gonna set the category for um, basically mode and options okay so mode and options so the mode is going to be play and record. So basically this category um, records an input and playbacks the audio. So it's actually like two way sort of thing. Uh, it's not mono, like, you know, just, just playing. Um, and then default mode is what we need and options is going to be a, an empty array or empty dictionary. Okay. Now we need a catch. to catch any exceptions and we're gonna throw a fatal error saying error dot localized description okay let's go ahead and try to build and we should be building okay so that was our init now next two functions that we need basically one to start monitoring and these functions are going to be public so this is basically our uh a recorder visualization api and we need access to this api basically the monitoring part and start start monitoring and stop monitoring so first we're going to create public function start monitoring okay and we're going to say audio recorder dot is metering enabled okay so that's that's what it checks the audio level the metering and then we're gonna simply say audio recorder dot record. Gonna set the timer. So timer dot scheduled timer. And we need the one that actually takes time interval repeats and blocks. So time interval repeats and blocks. And time interval, we're gonna say 0 0.01 repeats true. And for the block, we're gonna get the timer and we're gonna simply say self dot audio recorder dot update meter so we're going to update the meter and self dot um, sound samples current sample 
audio recorder dot average power on channel zero self dot current sample is equal to self dot current sample plus one and we're gonna mod this with self dot number of samples okay. that's our start monitoring function and then we can have a stop monitoring and this guy is simply gonna call audio recorder dot stop okay we also need a d initializer so d in it and this is just to make sure that we are invalidating our timer so our timer does not go on and on and cause a memory leak and like you know we want to stop audio recorder too if if suddenly we have to actually if suddenly our app crashes or anything like that okay or this class need de initialize for some reason all right so that was our uh, main um, visualization part right and um next is basically the uh, basically the visualization view so let's go ahead and create that um so i'm going to create a soft ui view in this case i'm going to call this bar view visual visual bar view there we go okay so our visual bar view is going to have basically it's going to receive a value from initializer it's going to be a cg float type number of samples so number of samples and let's give it 30 like so and here we're going to create simply a z stack with a rounded rectangle corner radius 20 gonna have a fill linear gradient and this gradient is gonna be filled with colors and colors are going to be blue and purple start point is gonna be top and bottom like so right gonna give it a frame width is gonna be ui screen dot main dot width dot bound start with um minus cg float number of samples times 10 okay and we're gonna divide this value by cg float number of samples just to get our proper width to fit all of our rectangular bars that are gonna basically show the visualization meter and the height is gonna be the value alignment default and let's go ahead and try to build and build succeed so that's actually um that actually wraps up our visualization view okay so uh, in the next video, let's go ahead and, and work on our uh, speech manager that actually uh, takes the speech, record and uh, translate or basically convert it into a, a speech, free speech into a text. Um, and then uh, we're going to work on the on the core data and, and, and the main basically content view part. OK, so I'll see you guys in the next video where we're going to be working on our speech manager.